Ah yes, the glorious kingdom of Hungary, the best country in the world, with the most outstanding geography. Look at this, such beautiful flat, flat terrain. Everybody's favorite country in Hearts of Iron 4. Why you may ask? I, I, I don't, I don't fucking know. I mean, this, this part is trash, this, this is alright, all I guess, and this is fucking non-existent, and, and this one is just, just fucking annoying. And yeah, you, you tell me why everybody likes this. But anyway, my dear viewer, until now I have endured alone these Hearts of Iron 4 games, struggling to form every single nation in this godforsaken game, all alone. But today I need your help. I need you all to shed any bit of animosity. To renounce your nationality and your religion and to join hands all together to pray to the RNG gods because today we are forming Austria-Hungary with the most RNG dependent path in this whole entire game. So let's begin our annoying journey by balancing the budget. The fucking Hungarian army looks stronger than ever and the manpower reserve are just overflowing. Everybody wants to be a soldier these days, look at this. Oh, and we don't have to worry about the Germans this game. Easy. See guys, it's all because of you. Oh shit. Incest is back in fashion, boys. Just give us another 80 years and we're gonna breed that chin back into the bloodline. And now we can do the focus, demand the referendum. Another small problem that I have with this tree is why the fuck are there two options? You either demand a referendum in which you just annex Austria for free and you either just declare war and take it but if this one fails you get the war goal anyway so... I guess you can grind some army experience and the mountaineer trade easily here but uh, why the fuck would you do that? Your army is pretty trash anyway in the start so why bother? And the Germans that don't like to be called Germans just agreed. We are now a very long boy. And we also get the Austrian army which is pretty good and a lot better than ours. And another weird choice that this tree does, it's by annexing Austria we don't call it right away, which I think it's kinda weird and pointless. And you have to do another focus to actually core it. Why not just coring it right away and if you need another filler focus just give me some war support or something like that. So far so good. This focus is not very RNG dependent because I think it has somewhere around 80% chance to be a success but the problem is this focus with protect Czechoslovakia. Which I think has three outcomes. The best outcome and the one that we want is to annex it right away and we also core it. The second best is if they refuse. We will have to fight them, it's gonna cost us a lot of manpower and resources but it's gonna be fine. But the worst outcome out of these three is if they agree to be a puppet. Because that way we get none of the manpower and almost none of the factories and they are also a tier 2 puppet. Which means it will take a lot of time to annex them. So let's hope we get lucky. And the fuckers refuse. Wasn't I supposed to get a war goal on them? If they refuse me, wasn't that how it worked? I, f I don't fucking know. So I will have to manually justify this fucking sucks. And they are also guaranteed by friends. Which is incredible. So I'm gonna do a little detour to the secret rearmament branch. Until the French guarantee disappears. Which should happen if they do this focus, but it might as well not because it's an historical game, Hey. Oh yes, more RNG in my already full of RNG focus tree. Game design at its finest. And the Romanians accept, great. Now we can finally do some industry. Now I'm just gonna wait for a limited conscription and then I'm gonna start justifying on Czechoslovakia. It's already almost 38 and the French guarantee is still here so I think it's gonna stay. Well, some time have passed, it's almost 39 and uh, France is still guaranteeing Czechoslovakia. Fortunately for us, the war goal is permanent so we don't have to worry about that. The only problem is that Germany is democratic and France doesn't look so democratic and neither does the UK so... I don't know where this is going but nobody joined any factions yet. I am not yet gonna attack because my army is still shit but uh, I hope for the best. Well, it's 1939 and the French guarantee is not going anytime soon, so I'm just gonna declare war. The French can't reach me anyway, so I'm just gonna try encircling some Czechoslovak troops somewhere around here and here. Oh, and Germany is giving me guns. Nice. <laughs>
that's it for the Czechoslovaks. It went pretty well. We only lost around 50k men. And they had around 400k casualties. So it's 1 to 9. It's pretty good. And now we have our rightful territory of Czechoslovakia. And now that that's taken care of, next up we're gonna attack Romania. Because I don't think the French are gonna be able to get into the Black Sea yet. Oh, that's no good. I will need to construct some supply centers here. And here. Oh, and by the way, from this focus down here, all those focuses only give you claims. And two cores right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six pointless focuses here. You don't even get war goals. Which is very fucking sad if you ask me. You would be able to get the Hungry Demands Transylvania event from this. But unfortunately it only works if the world tension is uh, below 50. So unlucky. This is a very curious proposal Germany. Are you sure you want to do this? It didn't end well last time we were together in a faction you know. But if this means we're gonna defeat France I am in. Because fuck the French anyway. Those are some interesting Russian borders. But do you know what else is interesting? The fact that the Russians guarantee Romania now. Wonderful. Anyway, let's see if Germany wants to fight France. Oh, they are all for it. This does not surprise me at all. The only little problem we have now is that thing called the Maginot Line. Which is pretty well defended. It would be so nice if we could somehow bypass this and go around let's say. But Germany isn't doing that anymore. This tile right here can be attacked from six whole directions, so I think we are gonna be able to push this. Hopefully. But it doesn't look like it. It will be way fucking easier if the Germans will help me, instead of just staying there jacking off. Fucking bitches. Oh, green bubble. Haven't seen this in a while. And they're just reinforcing like crazy. Yeah, it's not doable. And this little maneuver just cost me the life of 42,000 brave people. And all of it for nothing. Well, France just joined the allies, which is not optimal. And it's about to go down, boys. If you can't go through them, befriend them. So we're gonna be able to capitulate France soon. I'm gonna get my troops ready in the meantime. I hope they join. And they are in, boys. Let's fucking go. We are going to Paris. Who else might we meet there, I wonder? Come on Belgium, god damn it they need one more positive. Come on bro, quick before they get to the border. Okay, they did join. And it only took one week for France to die. I think that's a new record, even for them. Okay, now we only have to kill Britain. The only problem is my navy is non-existent. So I'm slowly gonna try to take control of uh, the coast of France in order to use their dockyard and build one. Which is gonna take a fucking long time, so see you then. Well, never fucking mind, I cannot create a fleet because... For some fucked up reason, they are not letting me to deploy them in my occupied territory, so I literally cannot make a fleet. And I find that very fucking ridiculous, and I really don't know what to do now. I am literally locked out of doing anything now. I am in a democratic faction, which means I cannot justify on anybody. I cannot leave the said faction because we are fighting a war together. And because I cannot build any ships, we are gonna be locked in this war with Britain forever. Because there is no way the Germans are gonna invade Britain successfully. So this is gonna be another fail guys. Yay, two failed videos in a row. That's so fun to watch. Although my failure today comes from deliberately choosing to play unhistorical, I hope I showed enough of the limitations this focus tree have. So if you wanna see a Austria-Hungary path done right, you will have to tune in next time because that's right, this is a two-parter in which we are gonna compare the vanilla focus with the mod one. So make sure to be there in a couple days and watch the entire video and maybe give it a like if you liked it and subscribe, why not? And you know what? If she's not subscribed, go on to your mom's YouTube account and subscribe her to me. And hell, why not? Make your dog a YouTube account and subscribe it to me. There is no harm in doing that. Okay, I will stop talking. This nation gets a 3 out of 10 anyway. So bye guys, see you next time.